It was a looting. They just took advantage. Within a few hours, uh, there was no center anymore. It's what you see. You can't pick up an item, a valuable item. Yeah, there's nothing. Jabulani Mall in Soweto was a victim to this destruction. I, I don't know how to explain it. It was just like a movie. It was mixed with shock. When you are watching something which is uh, directly linked to you, you, you get confused as well to say, no, what, what's happening here? We, you don't understand. You just think of uh, all the hard work. And when you see uh, everything just going down the drain like that, it's, uh, it was just an unbelievable uh, scene to witness. There are over 200 shops in the center and every single one of them was emptied. SAPS and the Metropolis, they tried to dispense the people, but uh, it was a lot of people. It was thousands and thousands of people. Uh, we never prepared for something like this. No one expected something like this. No one could ever think of something like this. In Soweto, all shopping centres and malls were destroyed, besides Maponya Mall, which was protected by the community. Nkuna said that the mall was built with the aim of bringing convenience to the locals. Uh, because people used to shop in the uh, town or you know, Linesia and uh, now the shopping was local. So all the shopping malls here have been um, vandalized. Uh, as much as we can be shocked and uh, we have to look to the future. We, we can't sit back and uh, look at the negative. We just have to uh, look at a little bit of a positive going forward and uh, come up with a plan. We have to uh, rebuild. I mean, it's a past. It has passed. We were there when no other newspaper dared print on a Sunday, when the war to end all wars was declared, when one of our own reached for the stars, and when small acts of defiance opened the world's eyes. We were there when a heart got a second chance at beating, when a great rivalry ignited, and when a country rose out of the depths of division to unite. Because for 115 years, we've been bringing you the right now. Sunday Times, the paper for the people.